They say that knowledge is power, power is wisdom, and wisdom is knowing that Queen is going to ask you to smash the like button on her video. Today, I have a very special video for you. I'm teaming up with Brandon from the New Money YouTube channel and Tom from the Investing with Tom YouTube channel to share their favorite investing books and what they've learned. And I have their YouTube channel links down in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to their channels and show them some love. So let's throw it over to Brandon from New Money to give us his favorite investing book. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So first of all, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Queenie for having me on the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's an honor to be on the channel. Now, the book that I picked out, my favorite investing book, the one that really got me serious about investing is this one here. It's Rule One by Phil Town. It's a very easy read. And for those that don't know, my investing strategy is basically based off four pillars of value investing. Firstly, you have to understand the business and and make sure you it kind of the business is relevant to you, like it has some sort of meaning to you. Secondly, you want businesses that have a competitive advantage. Thirdly, you want to make sure the management team is running the company with skill and integrity. And then lastly, you want to check the valuation. So you never want to pay too much for shares. Um, there's a good saying that, you know, uh, a good company can turn into a bad investment if you buy it at a price that's way too high. Now, they're generally the four themes that are in most value investing books out there. However, why I really like rule one is because it goes a little bit further. It actually says, you know, if you're trying to find a company that has a competitive advantage, what numbers do you pluck out of the financials to actually confirm, yep, it does have a moat or no, it does not have a moat. Um, so it does that and it tells you, you know, how do I actually know if the management team is running the business with skill and growing the business effectively? All that sort of stuff is in this book. And it's also got a, a really simple, easy to understand um, uh, valuation method that definitely helped me get get my head in the right space for learning how to value businesses. So overall, I really like this book. As I said before, this is the one that got me serious about active investing and it's helped me out a lot. So I definitely recommend it. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you so much for sharing, Brandon. Rule number one is one of my favorite investing books as well. I really appreciate you coming on the channel and sharing that. Now let's throw it over to Tom all the way in New Zealand to share his favorite investing book and what he's learned. Hey Queenie, thanks so much for having me on the channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Now, one of my favorite investing books is this one, 100 Baggers by Christopher. Mayor. Now, if you don't already know what a hundred bagger is, a uh, hundred bagger is basically a stock that you invest in that then goes on to return a hundred to one or goes up a hundred X. So for every dollar you put in, you end up with a hundred dollars at the end. These things are the absolute holy grail of the investing world. And as much as they sound sort of a little bit too good to be true, they do exist. And this book, in fact, is a case study of 365 of them that occurred from 1964 through to 2014. Now, Chris Mayer talks in quite a lot of detail about the formula behind getting a hundred bagger. And the formula to get one of these stocks that goes up a hundred to one is actually quite simple. Now, uh, you basically need two key ingredients in order for this type of return to happen. Now, the first thing, uh, should be no surprise that you need is growth. Now a stock doesn't just go up 100x for absolutely no reason. Uh, generally these stocks have grown the underlying earnings in the business quite significantly over a period of time. And if a business can grow its earnings 100x and people pay the same PE ratio at the end as they did pay for it at the start, then you've captured your 100x return. But one of the other driving forces you can have on your side in order to make that 100x potential a little bit easier is having a low entry multiple or a low uh, PE ratio when you first buy into the business. So imagine if you bought into a stock with a PE of 10 and by the time you then go to sell that stock out into the future, it has a PE of 20 that stock is doubled just purely from the PE ratio change. So in order for you to get your 100 bagger, you've already got a double from your PE ratio change, and then you need to see about a 50X growth in the business and the underlying earnings of the company. So if you can have those two forces working in sync, it really can make your life easier in terms of building up these astronomically high returns. And vice versa, if you have multiple compression or you pay a really high PE ratio that tends to come down over time, the business can still generate a really high rate of return, but you sort of have that multiple multiple compression working against you, and you're gonna need to get a lot more growth out of the business than you otherwise would need to. 
And then of course, the third ingredient that you need is simply time and patience. Uh, the average 100 bagger in this book was approaching about a 20 year period of time in order to achieve that 100x return. So these things don't happen overnight, but if you're looking for phenomenal long-term investments, I uh, can't recommend this book enough, 100 Baggers by Christopher Mayer. So thank you so much for having me on the channel, Queenie, and I will throw it back to you. Thank you so much for sharing, Tom. You know what? I've actually never heard of that book before, but I'm sure this book will really help us get the bag. Do you see what I did there? And now it's time to hear one of my favorite investing books, which is Invested by Danielle and Phil Town. So as you may have heard previously, my favorite investing book is this one here. It's Rule One by Phil Town. Brandon's favorite investing book is Rule Number One by Phil Town. And this is another book which is also written by Phil Town, but also in collaboration with his daughter as well. This is a great book to pick up for beginner investors who don't really know where to start with investing. And it's a great introduction to individual stock picking, but not just individual stock picking, but it also gives gives a lot of information about ETFs and index funds as well. The book is written from Danielle's perspective and how she was able to really master her mindset and really figure out her personal finances when initially she was a lawyer who didn't really think that investing was for her. But as you'll see, as you start to read this book, she does get more comfortable with the idea of investing and actually reaches out to her dad more to learn more about investing and how to follow that Warren Buffett style of investing. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video you guys are the real mvps and because you made it all the way to the end of the video i have a secret code word for you which is apple so write me a comment with the word apple in it so i know that you guys are the real mvps i really really appreciate you guys thank you thank you thank you so much and i've also got some links in the description below to brandon's youtube channel and also tom's youtube channel so make sure you head over to their youtube channels subscribe and show them some love by the way i do have some links in my description below to to all of the books that we have mentioned in this video. They are affiliate links, so if you do choose to purchase any of these books using these links, you will be helping support this channel, so I would really appreciate it, and it doesn't cost you anything extra, so win-win situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! And if you'd like to see some more videos, I've got some links to some videos here, so make sure you click the links and click through to another video.